Good morning, everybody. Today is super exciting because I'm going to the For Love and Lemon sale. They had this sale last year and I went to it. They're having it again this year. The way I found out about it was through their Instagram. So they're having it today on the 7th and tomorrow on the 8th. So let's just go enjoy. <laughs> I arrived at 9.57 a.m. and this was the line. I waited in line for about 30 minutes. My mom came with me. Here we made it in. The first thing I went to was the shoes. All the dresses were organized by size and I'll also include the price list here. The dresses being organized by size was definitely very helpful. I don't think they were organized by color, but more by length and stuff was being moved around all the time. There was a ton of stuff in bins. They had knitwear, they had accessories, lingerie, and the lingerie was organized by size as well, but a lot of people were moving stuff around, so it got a little messy. Can I do tag on me dashily? Should I get it, do you think? It's matching. This one ended up being a no, so I went to go put it back. Let's see, this one I'll put back here, I found it. Mama said to get the one with the matching tie that I saw earlier. Like a little matching headscarf. It looks like a purple. Here it is. Perfect, we found it. Hey, Mama Tati. Hamuda? Yeah? I think so too. Okay, yeah, la boy nele. Okay, yeah. Zeu, die. <laughs> we need to go. I know. I think it's so cute. I did have a list of dresses that I was looking for to make it a little bit easier, but there was about one or two that I couldn't find. All right, so that was a success. That was so fun. We spent $602, which is not bad because just like two for love and Latin men's dresses would be that much. I don't even know how many dresses we got. Too so many. No, but they're so cute. I got good ones. Yeah, and thank you, mom, for coming with me. So I'll show you guys a haul in just a little bit. Ooh, I don't know why it's so dark. Hi. I lost my other SD card. I hope I'll find it. If not, well, welcome to the For Love and Lemons vlog part two. So real quick, I went to the sale yesterday and it was really good. And then when I got home, I realized that one of the dresses, it had the built-in bra, it was the Becca dress. And it was missing the bra, even though I knew it had it on there, but I think that the cashier didn't realize and she put it aside thinking it was separate. And then she asked me, she's like, oh, is this one yours too? I was like, no, because I didn't really get a bra. And then I didn't realize that it was the bra that connects to the dress. I was like, oh no. So I messaged for Love and Lemons and they checked, they couldn't find it and they said that they ended up finding me a new Becco dress basically. And they said, oh, just come in and we'll keep it on hold for you. So yeah, that was really nice. So now we're gonna go for day two since obviously I have to go back again. Maybe I'll find some more good stuff and I'll show you guys around. This is the fit today. I'm feeling a little like school girlish vibes over here. But yeah, so let's go have a fun time. <laughs> I really took my time this time because I had the day off work so I was able to really go through and just pick and see. There was a lot less people in the second day than there was on the first day and I still came in the morning. I was able to pick up that Becca dress that I had messaged them about. It was pretty fun to go through the dresses and just all the clothing and the bins. There was a lot of dresses and accessories and things I had picked out and then right before I went to go check out then I went through everything and just tried to think about what I really want and don't want so that kind of helps. There was a lot I definitely put back. I thought I saw the poppy dress but they ended up not having it or they were sold out of it still. They were restocking throughout the day, but they still couldn't find that one, so I think that there was just a limited stock. I didn't see this rack the first time around, but here was a bunch of slip dresses, which I'm very glad I looked in. And 
this was the state of the shoes. I did buy one pair of shoes as well. Okay, so this is the stuff that I got for today. Hi guys, in a second I'm gonna do a haul, but I just wanted to quickly see. So one of the dresses I got, I did get on sale because it was a little bit damaged, so I'm gonna try to fix it. So basically this is the Festival Rose dress. There's only one that's missing the tie on the inside, so it can't gather, but I did find the tie. And so I have a safety pin and we're gonna try to put it together and make it look all nice. Why am I so out of breath? Jeez. Here, we take the safety pin just like that. And now we can just feed it through here. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so far so good. And just kind of gather it up. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I was able to poke it through. And I'm just gonna pull this all the way out. What daisy. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to take out this safety pin, save that for another day, and tie these two. And would you look at that? It is fixed and it's adjustable. So yeah, let's get right into the haul. <laughs> okay, so this is everything I got from the haul. Quite a lot of stuff. So we're gonna start, okay, so this bag is everything I got from today, which is not that much, it's not too bad. It's dress number one. I forgot the name of this one, but I'll definitely put all the names and everything. Uh, but this one it was on my list of dresses that I wanted. I got this one in a size small. I think this is the first dress that I picked up too. But it is super cute. Yeah, I love the blue pattern. It has like a little lace detail up here. And this corset fits really nicely. And the only thing is the straps are not adjustable, but I think they're fitting okay. So this one's dress number two. This one has cute little strawberries on it. I'm not sure how I feel about the length. I thought it was gonna be a little bit shorter, but my mom said it's honestly really cute. So I don't know, I'm like debating if I should sell this one or not, or should, if I should just keep it. Do you like the top part? I think the top is really flattering, especially with this little like peephole here and the, the ruffles coming down. The back is very open and it is adjustable too. But yeah, this one's also in a size small. All the dresses will be in a size small in this haul, just so you guys know. Third dress, I believe it's the Candace mini dress. Uh, but yeah, I'll always put the name of it. Super sparkly, I thought this would be really cute for the holidays. Did have a couple things that I did notice when I got home, like a couple of the beads were coming off, which I could have got a discount on, but it's already so discounted, so it's okay. I think this dress retails for like $285 too. But yeah, a couple of the, like one of the ribbons had like little stringy things hanging down. It was like stuck on the dress. I just cut it. Took like a lighter to the ribbon so it's not gonna fray. I love the neckline. It has like a little lining here. And then it also has a little bit of a cowl neck too. And then mind you, this one is technically the last dress from that first haul. I also, my mom got a dress too. So it was kind of similar to the uh, sparkly one, but it was a little bit longer too and it had like little florals on it. I don't know the name of this. I've actually never seen this on their website but I thought it was super cute. And then I saw the matching headscarf which I did get today because so I realized that I didn't buy it. I don't know what happened but I think that maybe as she was organizing maybe it fell out of the bag or something like the cashier she was going through everything. But yeah so I ended up getting it today. I think this one's cute. The only thing is the straps like they're pretty long on me. Uh, this one again is size small what it looks like. And this is with the straps adjusted all the way up too, so the only thing is, that's, yeah, that's the only thing. I do love the daisies on it though. Both daisy straps are very cute. Yeah, so that's how this one's looking. This one is one that I've been wanting for so long. It's been on my wish list forever. So this is the one that I basically had to go back to the sale for. Super, super excited about that, and that was so sweet of them. Like, they didn't have to. I could have just been like, oh, sorry, like, not our problem. But yes, I'm so happy that they had the Becca dress because this one, I tried to get it last year, but they only had extra, extra small and medium left. There's only two of those. That's it. So I'm very, very happy that I got this one. They also had the Jackson mini, which I already have that one, so I ended up not getting it, of course. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm so excited to wear this one for like spring and summertime. Definitely doing some cute like beach girly photo shoots. And yeah, I love it. Look at the eyelid detail. The past sleeves. Okay, I believe this is the last of the dresses. I have a couple more smaller items to show you guys, but this is actually my first time trying this one. This is the Festival Rose dress. And I saw this one on 
Instagram. It was like super popular for Coachella. This is the one that basically like the tie was missing so I did get a discount and then I was just able to fix it myself. I think it's honestly really cute, very flattering. I love the detail in the bra part and like the cups area, especially with the flowers. I love this fabric, it's super nice, definitely needs to be steamed and needs to wear a better underwear color with this one. The back is adjustable, the sides and the dress are adjustable and then same with uh, the little straps too. But that's how this one's looking. <laughs> so yeah, this one I got for $50 instead of like the $70. So this next top, it's not my favorite, I'm probably just going to sell it. I don't know which one's called but I thought this would be cute to put like over a dress or something. This skirt is just storettes. It's not even for Love and Lemons, but I mean, it's cute and all. It has like this really cute pearl in the middle, but I just don't like how you lace it up in the back. It looks kind of weird in my opinion and it's kind of annoying to get on. So I think this one's just going to be for sale. I do love this one. I love the details on it with the blue ribbon and the little flowers and one of them just fell off, so I'll definitely have to re-sew that, but it's okay. Um, yeah, this one's how, how it's looking. I love the little ribbons on it, and it is like a corset in the back, so it's just like I put it to the side and then twist it and put my arms through it, basically. Thankfully, this didn't fall off before I noticed, and it went missing. I think it looks really cute. Again, I do want to put this like over something. I think it could look really nice. So we have, basically, I got like this little choker necklace that just kind of like goes like this, and you tie it. You obviously you would tie it a little bit better than this, but you guys get what I mean, basically. So that's how that one would look like. And then I, because I got this one, it was considered to be like an accessory slash jewelry. So they told me I could pick out any jewelry for free. And so I just picked out this little necklace here. All their jewelry is buy one, get one free. So that's what that one's looking. I do like the little red, the gold, very pretty. And it came with this like cute little for lemon lemons pouch with a little bow on it. So that's those ones. And then the very last item we have is some shoes. Yeah, this is what the shoes that I got looks like. They were the like one of the only nine and a half left. Most of them were nine or 10. Like, there's no smaller size than that. So definitely bigger shoes, probably because they're not as popular, but I'm a size nine and a half in shoes. So these are the shoes that I got. They're the For Love and Lemons and Dolce Vita collaboration. But look how cute they are. They lace up. They're like little sandals, little kitten heels. I did want to get some red ones. They also had like the flat shoes, but they didn't have my size. So I ended up just obviously not getting them. But that's what those ones look like. And they come in the little box. I believe these ones retail for 150 and they were $40. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. I'll see you guys in a video next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.